That's so nice. Thank you. Thank you, man. There's a vet. There's a vet. We love our vets. Thank you, everybody. Sit down, please. We, uh, we had about 24 hours to put this together. It was very, very quick. And uh, we're here for some very special people. And we're going to hear from some of them. But uh, this is an honor. This is a really honor. And I didn't want to be here. I have to be honest. I wanted to be about five minutes away. And I've enjoyed that. I've enjoyed that. All the online polls that have done very well with that, with the debates. And uh, I've had a kick with it. But you have to stick up for your rights. When you're treated badly, you have to stick up for your rights. You have to do it. And whether we like it or not, whether it's something we want to do or not, and that's what our country has to do. I mean, as an example, Iran, the way they've been treating us with all of this horrible this deal is one of the worst deals I've ever seen negotiated under any circumstances. And we just take it. We have to stick up for ourselves as people, and we have to stick up for our country when we're being mistreated. Remember that. And I, and I have to go a little step further and say that Fox has been extremely nice and uh, the last uh, number of hours, actually. And they've wanted me there and they said, how about now? They called a few minutes ago. How about now? Can you come over? I said, hasn't it already started? And we actually thought what we'd do is we'd let them start. And, you know, we wanted to be about 15 minutes into that hour so that by now they're all tuned in. Look at all the cameras, like the Academy Awards. This is like the Academy Awards. This is the Academy Awards. We're actually told that we have more cameras than they do by quite a bit, so that's sort of it. And you know what? That's really in honor of our vets, but they have been. They've been very nice, and they wanted me to go and apologize and everything else, and they did apologize, and they could not have been. But once this started, it's for our vets. There was nothing I could do. I don't know. And you know what? I don't know. Is it for me personally a good thing, a bad thing? Will I get more votes? Will I get less votes? Nobody knows. Who the hell knows? But it's for our vets, and you're going to like it because we raised over $5 million in one day. Over $5 million. So, so that's not so bad. You know, my whole theme is make America great again. And that's what we're going to do. And we wouldn't have even been here if it weren't for our vets. And our vets are being mistreated. Illegal immigrants are treated better in many cases than our vets. And it's not going to happen anymore. Not going to happen anymore. So once this ball started rolling, we couldn't stop it. And you see the house is packed. And literally, this took place less than 24 hours. We had less than 24 hours to do this because I said, listen, I'm not going to do the debate out of respect for myself. I won't do it because it would just be wrong. But I got to, you know, I love Iowa. I'm here. We got to do something. I didn't know we were going to raise five million. We actually raised close to six, to be totally honest. But, and, and I have to say, a lot more to come. You know, we set up a site, www.donaldtrumpforvets.com. Forvets.com. And they've raised almost $500,000 just today. So I think this money is going to continue to pour in. And we have some incredible, incredible people. I do want to say, I do want to call out some of the folks that gave a lot of the money. And then we're going to have somebody come up to speak who's an incredible speaker. But much more importantly, it's the subject. Somebody that really, really understands what the vets are going through. But first, we have to talk about people that made a lot of money. And they wouldn't have made a lot of money. They wouldn't even be here if it weren't for the vets and our great military. Because the military, right, Phil, has a lot more guts than you do. Is that right? We have different kind of guts, right? So Carl Icahn gave $500,000. One quick phone call. Would 500000 be okay? Richard Lefrak, a great builder in New York, gave $100,000.